Hello everyone, this is EB the Sponge Reviewer here, and today I'm here to give you guys a SpongeBob SquarePants episode review. So today I'm here to review the episode Allergy Attack, and if you guys are not aware, um, the last three episodes of season 13 apparently has been leaked um, out somewhere in a, in a different country somewhere, but I'm here to give you guys my review on those episodes. Even though these episodes are, are premiering in the United States and Nickelodeon um, towards the, the last week of October. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys my review on this episode. So there's going to be three reviews coming out today on the last three episodes of Season 13. So expect three uploads happening today. So anyways, um, in this episode, um, Spongebob um, begins to get... An, an allergic reaction uh, to Krabby Patties when he is out cooking um, his kazillionth Krabby Patty. So, so in order to fix this, uh, Mr. Krabs orders SpongeBob to return home um, from work. But then, every time he steps foot into the restaurant, um, he becomes um, even more sick. So, Sandy comes along. And she built SpongeBob a suit so he could cook Krabby Patties so he doesn't get allergic to them. So at first, um, this episode was pretty okay at first. But then everything picked up once Sandy came along and her suit. And um, this is where the episode, in my opinion, gets a little bit interesting. Uh, seeing SpongeBob um, in his new state of him cooking Krabby Patties inside of Sandy's new invention, and so um, it turns out at the end that um, it was Squidward's cologne that made everyone allergic to. Well, well, what I'm trying to say is is that um, it was it turns out that it was Squidward's cologne that ended up making everyone getting all rashes and and measles and whatnot. So they basically um can return back to their normal lives and join Krabby Patties again. I'm sorry if this review is all over the place. It's, it's just because that I have a strange way of wording things, so if it doesn't seem like I'm making any sense here, I do want to apologize, but I'm trying my best to provide this review. So all I'm saying is that um, Allergy Attack, this episode was pretty decent. Um, I did like the ending of SpongeBob sucking everyone inside the suit. And yeah, so... Um, if you want to avoid spoilers for this review, I highly suggest you don't watch this review because I'm not, like I've state, stated many times, I am not going to provide the links to these episodes. So if you do want to watch this episode on its air date, then you're going to have to wait until October 30th. No, no, October 30th. Yeah, it's October 30th is when this episode is going to be airing in the United States. So if you want to avoid any spoilers, do not watch this review because I did spoil the ending, but... That's all I'm here to let you guys know. So that's my review on Allergy Attack. This episode was decent, and I somewhat enjoyed it, especially towards the ending. All right, so stay tuned later today for my review on the next episode of Big Top Flop. I'm going to be watching that episode right now, so, so I will see you guys then. So this has been Evie the Sponge Reviewer, and I'll see you guys in a few with my review on Big Top Flop. So goodbye, everyone.